Hello everyone, this video I will show you a solution for the web servers. You can see here is our before video have showed the LAN web servers with the E16S board. That is for relay output. But this time I will show you another solution that is for input. So we will use this KC868AI, the input board for the web servers that you can monitor uh, the state, input state on the web page uh, by your mobile phone or by your PC software. So you can see here is Arduino source code uh, we have uploaded to our form. You can download. After you download this code, and you will see this is Arduino source code and this is bin file, that is firmware. You can just let directly to use and you can you cannot write any code, just download it to our ESP32 module. How to download this firmware to this module? You can see our before video have uh, details. Now I will show you the results. After we download the firmware, and you can see I can open web browser. So this is a web browser that have one, two, three, four until 48 channel input. So you can see here is the one, two, three, four, four uh, 24, and this is 25 until uh, 48. So that is for the digital input and uh, this line, this terminal and uh, with your sensor max support 1000 meter uh, enough for you to use. So you can see when I shot for this, that is ground. Shot for this channel 1 uh, because this is channel 1, uh, number 1 input. I shot for this and you can see uh, this is turn red. So that uh, the sensor is triggered. And if I release my hand, this not shot, uh, so it will recover to green. So this is not triggered. So you can see I can triggle the number two input. And you can see uh, the number two. And until this is 48, uh, this is 48, I have triggered. So that will turn red. So this can monitor the different sensor if you have project for many sensors that will be very easy to use also it support http command so this is by the pc software we can monitor uh, and you can see here the web browser i can change the size of the web browser that will auto size uh, for the window so this is a 48 channel and this is by pc software and maybe you will ask me how about it work in the mobile phone. Here you can see this is our Android phone. Uh, you can see here I have many input parts that is 48 channel input part. I can put that here. And this is my iPhone. The iPhone also have 48 channel. So you can see I can put here uh, that have these two mobile phone and maybe you will have more mobile phone. Uh, three mobile phone or four mobile phone is no problem. And now you can see I can shot for this. I shot for the channel one, input one. You can see red and the red and the PC software is red. So they will feedback the state at the same time for every device. And I shot for uh, this, this terminal. You can see I shot for this, this turn red. And you can see here turn red. And I released. You can see it's recovered. So I can shoot for this 48. This is 48. This is at last. This last one that I turn red. And this website will auto click and auto refresh. So, and you can change this. Uh, this I have set the three seconds to refresh the web page. So if you want to change the refresh interview time, so you can just open this Arduino source code and find out here you can setting uh, this command that is two means two seconds every two seconds to refresh the web page so you can change to one two three or 0 0.5 that will be very fast uh, refresh so i think this is useful for your project uh, it's up to you uh, what time the interview you you have to send Okay, this you can see our code. I uh, just download from this link and you can change it and use for your project. Uh, this is monitoring uh, by the network cable that is for Ethernet that will be stable and for monitoring all sensor states.
Okay, thanks for watching.